Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to turn these different pictures into SVGs um, to save in design space. I will also show you how to contour to layer your vinyl and also some print to cut images. Um, it will be kind of a lengthy long video, so if it's something you've already know, it probably will be boring to you. Um, if it's something you're learning, it's gonna be very educational. So I just use these pictures that are saved on my phone. Okay, so open Design Space and click New Project. You're gonna wanna upload and then select from Photo Library. Here's a video showing you how to do that. Once that loads, you'll want to select the photo you want to use um, to turn into an SVG. And here are a few things you need to know before we move forward. Um, the remove button, the eraser, the crop, the undo, and redo are located at the bottom of the screen. We'll start with cropping the picture. When you're done, click done. And then we're going to start removing um, the background. And here's a recording of me doing those steps, um, cropping and then clicking done when I'm finished cropping my image. The white in this picture, that's the background that we're removing. Um, if you accidentally click on the black, you can always click your undo button, zoom in. They make an awesome little feature of doing that. So you can get all the little you know, dots that you need to, um, to clean up your picture. So while you guys are watching me finish clean this image up, because I don't want to skip, um, really any part of what I was doing during this process, because the new people need to watch, they need to see, um, everything being done. At least that's how I was when I started. So I wanted to do the same for them. Once your design is all cleaned up and you're happy with how it looks, you're gonna save it. Just put any name you want in there and click save. Um, moving right along to the next design. Same thing here, we're gonna crop it and click done when we're done and start removing the background. This is another picture. Um, we're gonna click the white in. I'm pretty sure all of them that I have in this video are all white background. I may have to maybe make another video or show you how if you have a different background color you can um, change it. I don't know. But anyways, I always click on my image to make sure everything that I want cleaned up is cleaned up out of it. And then I save my design. Okay, so let's go and let's insert a picture that we're going to actually change the color on. Um, which by the way, you're going to learn that you can change the color on any design that you clean up and save um, into design space. Well, I should say almost any design. Um, so once again, you're just going to crop your image and clean it up. Um, click on the little, you know, square up there to see what all still needs cleaned up. That's a good feature to have um, and always do because sometimes I've actually forgotten to weed out or clean up, I should say. Um, a letter and I would have to like add a circle in design space and squish it and kind of like make it look normal <laughs> to fit the picture. Um, once you've got all that cleaned up again you're going to save. Okay so again we selected our photo and we're going to crop and start removing the background. Um, I want to just put several of these in here for you guys to see how it's done that way you guys can get the hang of it. Um, how you can undo things, how you can zoom in. You can actually move that little box so you can get your design um, cleaned up all over your picture and that doesn't get in your way. For the longest time, I did not know that that moved, but I just wanted to get all these little tips and how to clean up um, pictures to turn them into SVGs and into, de into design space. And like I said, I didn't want to leave out um, me cleaning pictures up because some people need that extra practice. So again, I click on the little square. This is more like difficult design, so you can... Well, it's not so difficult. It just has a lot that needs cleaned up. 
Um, but you can click on it to see, you know, what you've missed and you can go back so you can get it cleaned up how you want to be able to save it. So I'm really excited to put this onto a shirt. Um, I'll probably honestly do it on a couple shirts. I'm going to show you how you can add some color into it as well. Um, it's called contouring. I'll explain more into that when we get there um, further on in this video. I just wanted to go ahead as I'm cleaning this up in the video and um, apologize because I'm not really good at doing these videos like talking in them and I say um and okay and 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 things like that a lot and I just wanted to apologize for that it can get pretty annoying but we're going to be saving this and moving on to our next design which you're going to want to pay attention because this one's going to be different we're going to do a print to cut save instead of just saving it to be cut out so you're still going to open it the same way and crop it and you're also going to clean it up the same way. The only difference is when you're doing a print to cut is the part of your design that you want printed and cut, um, you're not going to clean up, you're not going to remove anything from, you're going to leave it as it is. So when you click on your square to see if you have everything cleaned up, your print to cut image is going to be a solid design. So once everything besides your print to cut part of your design is cleaned up, you're going to want to save it. But instead of saving it as a cut image, you're going to want to save it as a print then cut. Okay, so we're just going to continue with this design and insert it into design space and show you guys how to do a print then cut. Um, for this design, I just want the diapers, the mac and cheese, and the sippy cup to be my only print and cut uh, because it'll give me this air if I try to make it a bigger design. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that real quick. And we're going to start by inserting a square. Um, we're going to cover that print to cut design with a square. Well, it'll go into a rectangle. Then we're going to slice it by selecting the two layers and going down to our actions and scrolling over to find slice and clicking slice. We'll drag what we don't need um, <clears throat> off of there and clicking the red X button. And then we can turn this into a cut instead of a print and cut and change the color. I like to always work with black. Once you've done that, you can click make it. Um, you can see that there's two different mats, a print and cut mat and then a mat you can cut your vinyl out with. Okay, for this next design, we're going to um, do a regular cut image and then we're going to also do a print and cut image with it and put them together in design space. When we're cleaning up images that are really close to the edges, you're going to want to use that square um, to make sure that you've got all of the little pieces cleaned up and removed. As you can see, I'm also removing the red spots in this design. Um, sometimes you might have to use those little arrows at the bottom to clean it up. I always, um, when I need to use these, I must always have to scroll it all the way to the right to get the design how I want it. But sometimes it will take out some of the part um, of your design that you're going to need cut out. So it doesn't always work like that, but it's there for you to play with. Um, you'll get the hang of it the more you use it. Most of the time, I just scroll it all the way to the right or the positive side, whatever you want to call it, and uh, it works for me. So then you're just going to finish cleaning up the design um, like you would any other design. When we go to save this, we're going to save this as a cut image, um, and then we're going to go on to doing a print and cut. So for our print to cut, we only need the Dr. Seuss um, himself. So I'm going to go ahead and crop him out and then I'm going to erase everything else around him. Most of the time when I'm erasing, I'm always zooming in and out. I will say to zoom out, I usually select the remove button just so I don't erase like a whole swipe of my image because I do that often. We also have these edge pieces. We want to remember we um, get, so I'm going to go ahead and do that now. And instead of checking it with the square, because it shows a solid image, I just use the color um, image because that's what it's going to be when it's print to cut. However, it's still nice to check because if I hadn't remembered to remove those corners, I would have been able to see that there. 
Well, then we're just going to save this as a print to cut. And we're going to insert both our print to cut and our cut image of the Dr. Seuss into design space. And I'm going to show you how we can take out that Dr. Seuss um, so we can put our print to cut in next to our vinyl. So first, I get the size of the Dr. Seuss, the same size as the one with our cut image. Then we're going to drag our print to cut image down off of our cut image, and we're going to start contouring. Go ahead and click on your cut image. You're going to go underneath your actions and go all the way to the right, and you'll see hide contour. You're going to want to click on that. It'll pull screen up that looks like this. What this is going to do is remove that Dr. Seuss out of here. You're just going to click on um, all the little parts that you see um, up there. It can get tricky. I'm also going to show you a tip later on in the video how to um, just put a shape over that, highlight it, slice it, and get it out of it that way too. But it doesn't always work like that. So it's always good whenever you are needing to remove things from your design to go into contour and hide them. But you can also, like I said, insert the square and place it over your design. You'll have to unlock that um, to be able to make it a rectangle. But then just simply highlight the shape in your design and slice it, which is under actions. And then I'm just going to move my um, cut image and then highlight all of the extra stuff and get rid of that. Next, I'm going to highlight my cut image and print to cut image. And I'm going to group them, which is under actions, and just slide them up to the top. And ungroup them and be able to place my Dr. Seuss print to cut image where I would want him aligned on my um, t-shirt with my cut image. Obviously, it's not going to make a difference because when I go to cut it, it's going to put them on two different mats. But just so I have my sizes correctly, I always do that. So since I'm using heat transfer vinyl, I'm going to be putting this on a shirt. I'm going to need to mirror the image of my cut image. Not my print to cut, but my cut image. So to do that, you're going to want to click on that number mat up in the left-hand corner to pull up the screen to be able to select your mat and mirror the image. To print and cut your print and cut image, you're gonna click print. And once you have it printed, you'll notice that it prints a black square around it or rectangle. Um, that's so it can like calibrate the machine to know where your image is to cut. So then you're gonna load your machine and select printable iron on. Um, I'm using the dark because I'm gonna iron it on a dark fabric. You can always select the light. Okay, so moving on to our next design, we're going to open um, uploaded images and select our YouTube certified mechanic. And I'm going to show you guys how we're going to um, use contour to change the color of the tube to red. We're going to select it and go to our actions and duplicate that. So we have two of them now. So once you've moved them where you can see them both, I select one and I go to my actions and go to my hide contour. For instance, I'm just keeping the tube part um, on this contour page so that I can change it to red. So everything else I need to click so it disappears. Um, it can be difficult to zoom in and actually hit all those little areas. Um, so there is a shortcut to it. But if you're just learning, I would highly recommend you doing it this way so that you can learn and get the feel down for um, hiding the contour and contouring to change the colors. But you can also do it this way by um, just simply inserting a square and unlocking it to be able to make it into a rectangle over the wording and slice by selecting both of your layers. Um, and then slicing, I move my tube part so I can get rid of the extra stuff without um, accidentally cl clicking it too. And then I'm going to go to edit and change the color to red and drag it up over. Okay, so let's do another one to get some practice down. 
So we're going to duplicate this one um, two times. So we have three of them because we're going to do three colors. So we're going to start with hiding the contour of one. So again, I'm not going to cut any of this video out. Um, it might be boring to watch me do this, but for some people, they need that so they can see um, what exactly they need to do. And here, I want to just show you guys how um, or what hiding the contour is actually doing. So we're actually going to make this one the solid white. So I'm going to take that S out to where we only have the outline. And then I'm going to go to my edit and I'm going to change the color to white. This is going to be the background to my um, design. It'll be the first thing I iron down onto my shirt. So now I'm going to start um, editing this second square. And I'm going to again take out all of the words. But this time I'm going to make it the border. And um, again, I don't want to skip anything, so I'm going to let you guys watch me and kind of see and play with the um, contour. You can also, again, use that little trick to put the square in there. It, for this design, would probably take more time getting the square the size that you need it to in order to slice it. Um, so it might be better to actually stick with the contouring on there, but I just wanted to put that in here too, to show you guys again, um, how to do that. So if you're having trouble placing it because the auto alignment, you can go over to your settings. It's all the way to the right and you can actually turn that off. Once you turn that off, it'll be easier to place it where you need to and slice. And again, just get rid of all that extra and we're going to make this one blue so the border is going to be blue and i'm going to make the words obviously pink we're actually going to make the border pink and the words blue i'm going to go into the contour of that and i'm going to hide those to the background and the border to where it just leaves me the words so i'm going to make these words like i said blue so i'm going to go under my edit and i'm going to select the color blue and then i'm going to bring that design to the front which is also under edit and I'm going to align these and again you don't have to do this but just to make sure everything's um, the correct size I always do when I group them it also is easier to be able to move them um, on the or in design space so even though they're grouped when you hit make it it still puts them on three mats to be cut Okay, so last but not least, this is definitely one of my favorite. Um, I'm going to put it on a t-shirt for my niece. I found it in one of my free SVG groups on Facebook. Um, so again, you're going to crop it and clean it up. This video is a good video for showing you um, using the zoom in tool and the little square to make sure you have everything cleaned be up because there's so the future, many um, um, here very shortly. That'll be edge all these pieces designs that are gonna need put onto t-shirts. Um, I just wanted to hurry up and get this video posted and out there so people could learn how to change their images um, from their phone or computers into SVGs or files that you can use um, into design space. So I really hope that this was helpful to you guys and wasn't too boring. Um, if you could leave me some tips on how I could maybe improve or be better at these videos or what you would like to see, um, I would really appreciate that. Subscribe to the channel and hit that bell button to get notified whenever I post new videos. Um, other than that, I just really appreciate you guys watching.